Once again today we have those smoky skies that are overhead. Still the wildfire smoke not really allowing that bright vivid blue color on our downtown cam. Still allowing plenty of sun. A lot of dry weather still going along with our forecast, but it's almost like a rinse and repeat kind of forecast except we're missing the rinse part to rinse that smoke out of that air. But you can still see that Alberta wildfire smoke not just impacting us here in Northwest Ohio, Southeast Michigan, but even our friends to the West enjoying those kind of vivid sunrise and sunset and you are going to find yet even a little more of that to hold here. We'll be watching though a cold front that's going to be pushing and you can kind of see it's already played with the smoke a little bit and that's going to be then changing things for us as we go through the rest of today. So currently we've seen quite a bit of heat and the lunch hour going up into the upper 70s, nearing 80 degrees. So that's already where we are at at the Toledo Express Airport. You can see still Chicago into the 60s, Traverse City at 57, but we have cold air that's locked up and that's into Canada. However, this cold front is going to be pushing on in and it is going to bring a change of pace for the afternoon. So though we have the mild conditions, do not get caught off guard. Things are going to be changing rapidly for us as we go into this afternoon. What we're really going to notice though is it gets cooler. Typically in the afternoon, that's when we see our highest and warmest temperatures, but we're going to see that they're actually falling and we're going to have the breeze that picks up and that's going to add a little chill to the air. So just be mindful. You might even need a long sleeve by the time we get to this afternoon. I so see we were talking earlier and even yesterday about an ammonia front and you're going to find that well it's well it was actually in uh, by the Milwaukee National Weather Service office who coined the term but it's a cold front that it's enhanced by cold lake water so that's just what we have we haven't really seen those water temperatures warm up but then because of the water, that front becomes fast moving. It can just kind of glide over the water easier than what it does over land, causing then that quick temperature drop. But we're talking that that drop would have to be about 16 degrees in an hour. We won't have that here this afternoon, but it'll still be a noticeable difference when you head outside because this morning we were into the 60s. We're warming up nicely into those upper 70s, and then you can see we still have that cold air riding over the lake. So if you're in our eastern counties east of 75, you're going to notice that cooler conditions before our friends who are maybe more in line with Southeast Michigan and further inland. But everybody still is going to even on out tonight with a chillier forecast. Lows are going to be into the 40s. Now what to wear on a day like today? Well, we're used to kind of having four seasons in a day. It's happened here before. So at lunchtime, you are still going to be wearing those shorts. Your t-shirts will have 70s, very summer like. But then you're going to find this evening, maybe you're going to be watching the walleye game at Fifth Third Field because tickets, I know there's only a few left, they say. So you're going to have some 60s while you're watching the game or even out for your Wednesday evening. And that means you might want that hoodie, maybe that long sleeve, that lighter rain jacket to just add a little little extra layer kind of cut that chill on your skin this evening. So just be mindful you're going to want to maybe have a few layers that you can add and subtract throughout the day. But you're going to notice though when that cooler air starts to settle in because already midday we've noticed that our winds have gone from calm and we're seeing them around 10 to 15 miles per hour. As we go into this evening, they just continue to take off. So this evening we're actually going to see our winds. They're going to be peaking around 20 towards 30 miles per hour overnight. So it's going to be blustery for us today and even as we head into tomorrow because we're going to have the cool air kind of pushing on in and it's going to make it known with the breezy conditions that we have. Even looking at the next four days, though we peak today into the upper 70s, we're going to be looking forward to, well, some of us, those 60s, if you like a little bit of a cooler forecast, and then we'll have to leave that into your Thursday. You're going to find that it's a bit of a brief cool down. We'll have mid 60s, but it doesn't last long. We rebound nicely on Friday and even into Saturday, jumping from the 70s to the 80s. We're really warming up, holding a lot of sun, not a mention of rain here in the forecast as we get close to Memorial Day and even the holiday weekend. So we will have some summer heat for those who have plans. But for today, we have that temperature drop. You can see that in the hourly forecast here that you're going to find that those readings just continue to sink as we go through what should be our warmest part of the day. As far as radar, it's still a great tool that's on the app, even if it isn't raining. But maybe someday soon we'll see some rain on there. I was just talking about Memorial Day, so giving a preview of that forecast, you're going to find 80 degrees on Saturday, and we're going to hold more heat in as we go through Sunday and Monday. We'll have low to mid 80s, and for those who have those parades, we won't have those mid 80s right at the start of the parades in the morning, but it's still going to be a warm one on Monday itself. Dry weather, sunny skies, don't forget your sunscreen and your sunglasses as you're going to the services. You'll also find, though, easterly winds will have a little bit of a breeze, but also rain chances, not much of anything. There's no blue here, so we're going to 
to have that at 0%. But as far as rain in our extended forecast, you're going to see is pretty quiet. We're talking about the cooler conditions first off tomorrow with that 64 and then we have those 70s and 80s dry weekend, dry Monday forecast as well and even more heat as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday upper 80s even. So that's going to be some of the warmest air that we felt so far this season. And as we cool on out a little bit, check out that at the end of the forecast, a chance, a chance that we might pick up some rain here into the coming days. Now, of course, there's a lot of time, so it could change and we all know how dry it's been lately. So make sure you keep an eye on that full 10 day forecast with the WTO well 11 weather app. We're going to, of course, be looking out for that next chance that we can have for some rainfall. So make sure you stay updated on the app. Of course, we'll let you know, but also give you the heads up on any changes if needed for that Memorial Day forecast.